Bay Designer is a powerful program that gives you professional design tools and a wide range of options for designing your own books, albums, and other photo products with built-in ordering from Bay Photo Lab. If you're new to Bay Designer, please watch the Quick Start tutorial video on our website to familiarize yourself with the basic functionality of the program. When you launch Bay Designer, you may be notified that there are updates that can be installed. We always advise downloading the newest updates as these may include new program functionality as well as new products. To begin the calendar design process, choose to create a new project or open an existing project. For this demo, we'll create a new project. Click on Press Printed Calendars and then click Next. Choose Wall Calendars and click Next again to show the different product styles available. For this example, we'll order the CM16 style 11 by 17 wall calendar. After selecting your product, the next step is to add the images that you want to use. Clicking the Add Images button allows you to choose individual files or an entire folder of photos. In order to streamline the process, we recommend organizing the images into one folder before you begin. Once the images have loaded, you can rotate thumbnails as well as sort the photos using a variety of different criteria. By default, images will be added to the calendar based on the order that they appear in the Add Image window, but you can change this later once you're in the Layout area. For a 12-month calendar, you will actually need 13 images if you want to use a different photo for the calendar cover. Click the Next button and enter in the options for the calendar. After you choose the options, you're taken to a preliminary preview of your design. Click the Next button, enter a name for the project, and click Create. Once the project has been created, you're taken to the layout interface where you can fine-tune the design of your calendar. The first view that you see will be the front cover. This will be blank, but the other calendar pages are already assigned an image based on the sort order in the Add Pictures dialog. Along the top is a view of the different pages in the calendar, and on the bottom are tabs for adding page layout templates, masks, backgrounds, and more. On the far right are different palettes for customizing the appearance of design elements. Click the green forward arrow button or click on a thumbnail image to move through the calendar. To customize the appearance of the calendar grid, click on the calendar layout button in the toolbar above the layout area. This opens a dialog where you can set the attributes for how the calendar part of the page looks. This includes the font, size, color, and opacity of the numbers for the dates, as well as the background color and the weight of the border lines around the dates. Options chosen here will apply to all months in the calendar. When you are working on a calendar month, page templates will become available if they are an option for that calendar style. You can find these in the Page Styles browser below the main layout area. If you want to add a new template, simply drag a new template from the template browser onto the page. An empty picture box is indicated by a large X inside it. In this example, we've added a two-picture arrangement to the calendar page. To add an image to a picture box, simply drag a thumbnail from the film strip on the left. To remove an image from a picture box, right-click on it and choose Clear. This leaves the existing picture box in place. If you press Delete on the keyboard, you'll remove the picture box as well as the image. To change the size or shape of a picture box, click on it and then drag on the corner handles. Hold the Shift key down to constrain the proportions of the shape. If you want to rotate a picture box, use the green circle handle that is placed a short distance in from the upper left corner and then drag in the direction that you wish to rotate. You can also add a new picture box to an existing page by clicking the Add Picture Box button in the toolbar. Drag inside the box to arrange its position on the page or adjust the corner handles to change its size. To change the stacking order of overlapping picture boxes, right-click on a photo and choose Arrange. Manually adding picture boxes and adjusting their placement allows you to move beyond the supplied templates and create your own arrangements of multiple photos on a single calendar page. When you select a picture box, you can use the first control palette in the upper right to modify different aspects of it. 
This includes the basic shape of the picture box, as well as the ability to add rounded corners and change the opacity of the image to create a transparent effect. Borders and drop shadows can also be applied to picture boxes. To change the placement of a photo within a picture box, hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and drag on the image to reposition it. To change the way that an image is cropped, double click on it to bring up the crop controls and then click and drag to rearrange the crop and click OK. If you see a red triangle with an exclamation mark inside it as you adjust the crop, this means that the image, or the crop that you've chosen, will be reproduced at less than 300 pixels per inch, which means that you may or may not see issues with the print quality, depending on the properties of the image file itself. It is possible to get acceptable print quality from a lower resolution image, though if you run into this warning, the safest approach is to load a higher resolution version of that image. As you're working with Bay Designer, remember to save your project periodically, just as you would with any other program. To change the color of a page, click on the Page Background Palette in the upper right, and then click on the Color Swatch for the page that you want to change. In the Backgrounds tab, you'll find a variety of textures and designs that can be used. To apply a background, simply drag it onto a page. Just as with page templates, Dragging onto a page will apply the background only to that page. Opacity and other controls can be applied to place backgrounds. To add your own background designs and textures, click on the gear icon in the lower right. Any background images that you import into Bay Designer should be at 300 pixels per inch and sized to accommodate the largest page size that you'll be working with. In the case of this 11 by 17 calendar, a properly sized background image would be 11 by 17 inches at 300 pixels per inch. If you're feeling even more creative, you can use text fields and your own graphics to add notes about special birthdays and holidays. The possibilities are nearly endless. When you're finished with the layout process, you can review the calendar by clicking the green forward or backward arrows in the toolbar or by clicking the thumbnails for each page. If you click the play button you'll see a full screen preview. When you're ready to place your order click the shopping cart button. Bay Designer will check the project and look for any issues that might cause problems such as low resolution images, blank pages, or empty picture boxes. If there are issues that need to be addressed these will be listed in a flight check dialog where you can preview each instance and return to the layout view to fix them. In the Order dialog, click the checkbox to acknowledge that you approve the layout, composition, and number of pages, and then click Start. A web browser will open, and you can then log on to your Bayphoto account for the final steps in placing the order. If you do not yet have a Bayphoto account, you can easily create one here. Once you're logged in, you can review the order. Then choose your billing and shipping method, confirm your order, and the calendar will be sent to Bay Photo for production at our state-of-the-art facility. There's a lot more to Bay Designer, and this has just been an overview of the basic design process. Please see our additional videos for more in-depth coverage of the different features of this great program. And if you have any questions at any time during the design or ordering process, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're here for you.